Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Are your reports not updating properly in Microsoft Access? In this video, I'll show you how to automatically refresh them before you print or preview them. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. And if you want to see how I built it, go watch this video. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below for you. Now, in this database, I've got customers, and customers can have orders, and an order can have a note on it. When I go to print the invoice, the note shows up right there. It says, this is an order note, okay? But what happens if I change this? If I type in something like more notes added, okay, like that, and then I click the invoice button, look at that. The old order note is still showing up there. What's going on? Well, the problem is, if you look right there, you'll see that little pencil. That means that this record is what's called dirty. That means this data that you see in the form has not yet been saved to the table. If you open up the order table and find order one, look, oh, you can see that right there. It's locked, right, because it's dirty. And over here, it still says this is an order note. This hasn't been committed to the table yet, right? Save changes, no. Okay. Now, this isn't your fault, because I built this button with the command button wizard to open up a report okay and the the wizard doesn't refresh this record for you automatically so we have to do it ourselves now there's a couple ways you can do it you can leave this record and by clicking down here in the sub form that technically saves this guy and now you can see that it's been updated okay or you can close this form and come back into it that's all a pain right i want to just be able to just update something here and then when I click this button, it automatically refreshes for me. Now, when you make this button using the command button wizard, unfortunately, it puts something in here called an embedded macro. I hate macros. I really can't stand them. In fact, I got another whole video coming up that explains why I don't like them. And I'm not going to go into all the reasons here. But basically, they're really hard to deal with. Okay? Now, you could try to edit this macro. Click the little dot, dot, dot button. It opens up the macro editor here. Okay, and you could drop this down here and try to find refresh. There's the refresh. Okay, run menu command refresh. Then you can click on this guy here to move it up so it runs before the report. Okay, then you can close this. Save changes, yes. And that'll do it, but that's a lot of steps. All right, so if I go to orders now and I type in, let me move this back where it was. And I type in, you know, uh, let's put a bunch of uh, X's uh, and O's and, and different letters and stuff in here, right? <laughs> and if I go invoice now, as you can see, the refresh does run first, and it now puts the correct information there. So that's one way to do it. And if you just want to fix your buttons by editing the macro, that's fine. That'll work, okay? But I really, really, really prefer VBA code. All right, I like to do things in VBA. I hate embedded macros. In fact, one of the reasons I found this button was because I built this originally in that video I told you to go watch earlier, and I used the command button wizard to make that button to keep it easier for the beginners. But I really, really like to get rid of all my macros and put VBA code in there. Now, VBA isn't scary, okay? Go watch this video. It's 20 minutes long. It teaches you all the basics, everything you have to know. We're going to basically need two lines of code to do this. And you'll see it's a whole lot easier than working with embedded macros. So now, how do I replace that? Well, design view. Let's go into this button and go here where it says embedded macro and press delete. That'll get rid of that embedded macro. Okay. So what are the steps? What do we have to do? We have to refresh the record and open the report. And the report that we're opening is order invoice R, which is based on order invoice Q. I covered that in the invoicing video. And the invoice Q puts together the, uh, the, the order information, the order detail information, puts our, our, our line totals in there, and it displays the proper order because it has to only display the order ID for the one that we're on. So the query takes care of all the work. All we have to do is open up that order invoice R. So right-click build event. I'm in my code builder. If you get the little prompt that says, what builder do you want? Pick your code builder. Okay. First, refresh the record. Me dot refresh. Me means the current form that you're on. Me, right? Okay. Then we're going to say, do command dot open report. All right. What's the report name? Order invoice 
R, comma, we're going to go to AC View Preview, because if you don't pick that, it's going to spit it right to your printer. You want Preview, okay? And that's it. We don't need a filter. We don't need a wear condition. That's all handled by the query. All right? That, that's it. See how easy that was? Two lines of code. You need to know me.refresh and do command open report. That's it. All right? Save it. Close it. Close that. Close this. Open up the orders again. I'm going to slide it back over here. I move things around a lot in class, but usually when you're designing stuff, you just leave it in one spot. All right, control S to save its position. This is an order note. Live long and prosper. And here we go. Notice it's still dirty. Ready? Click. Refreshing it. And it opened up, and there's a live long and prosper. There you go. See how easy that was? Super easy. And a whole lot better than using embedded macros. So there you go. There's your fast tip for today. That was pretty fast. Did you learn something? I hope you did. I know I learn something every day. I try to. Um, we'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry... These free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the Show More link down below the video to find additional resources and links You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.